A research team, including Carnegie's Eric Murphy, has discovered that water really is everywhere. They have found the largest and farthest reservoir of water ever detected in the universe in the central regions of a distant quasar, using observations from the Caltech Submillimeter Observatory and the Combined Array for Research in Millimeter Wave Astronomy, also known as KARMA. Quasars contain massive black holes that are steadily consuming a surrounding disk of gas and dust. As it eats, the quasar spews out huge amounts of energy. The energy from this particular quasar was released some 12 billion years ago, only 1.6 billion years after the Big Bang, and long before most of the stars in the disk of our Milky Way galaxy began forming. The quasar's newly discovered mass of water exists in gas or vapor form. It is estimated to be at least 100,000 times the mass of the Sun, equivalent to 34 billion times the mass of the Earth, or 140 trillion times the mass of water in all of Earth's oceans put together. Water vapor is an important trace gas that reveals the nature of the quasar. In this particular quasar, the water vapor is distributed around the black hole in a gaseous region spanning hundreds of light years in size. A light year is about 6 trillion miles. The large quantity of water vapor in the quasar indicates that it is bathing the gas in both X-rays and infrared radiation. The interaction between the radiation and water vapor reveals properties of how the gas is influenced by the quasar. For example, analyzing the water vapor shows how the radiation heats the rest of the gas. A major new telescope in the design phase, called CCAT, will allow astronomers to measure the abundance of water in many of the early universe's galaxies. The research is published in Astrophysical Journal Letters. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.